Now let's talk about the force on a helical gear two surface. Again, we have four questions. Where do we analyze this force? Directional force, components of the force, and expressions of the components. First, where? Okay, just like what we did for the spore gears, we also analyze the force on the, not, this is not, not pitch circle, it's a pitch cylinder. So it is on pitch cylinder. Okay, direction. Before we talk about directions, we need to know the rotation direction. Again, a helical angle. Let me show the helical uh, tool's profile, which is something like this. Okay, so this is the helical line. Okay, and I make this one driver. Okay, assume the rotation direction goes in this way. All right, so driver rotation in this way, the force has to be against the motion because it pushes the other gear, so it feels the resistance. So the force has to be against the motion. Let me draw in such a way. It has to be in this direction, no other choice. Okay. So this is our normal force, doubly. Okay. This is a normal to the uh, helical two surface. So direction. Okay. Uh, let's. Let's talk about the direction by force, okay? Normal force, particularly the tangential force, okay? For driver, its direction is against the motion, okay? Against the motion direction, okay? Basically, in short, against the motion. For the driven, okay? It is along the motion direction. Okay, so components, easy. Now it is a three dimensional thing. So this normal force, okay, can be split into three components. One is the tangential force. The other one is the axial force, and the other one is the radial force. Okay, R for radial, A for axial, and T for tangential. And we know WT already because we know power. Power is ready to torque. Okay, so from power, let's see, this is the power. So power equals torque by omega. So we know the speed, then no power, we can find out the, the torque. Okay, so then from the torque, we can find out a WT. Okay, so WT equals torque divided by the radius, which is pitch circle diameter divided by two. Okay, all right, so from here, we can solve the rest. But now we need to show the rest, show the other things. So I'm gonna split this force into three dimension, uh, three directions, but I'm, I need to put this force into a cubic. Here's the cubic. Okay. All right. Here's the cubic. All right. So that shows this red force can be projected to three dimensions, but by means of a intermediate force, which I'm showing over here. Oh, first, let's see. This is the front plane. Okay, this is the pl plane front. And then this is the plane that's in along the axial direction. All right, this plane, delta line, delta line here, this plane right here is tangential to the pitch circle. All right, so I can resolve this W into two components. One is the projection onto this plane. The other one is coming here. Okay, and you see here, this is this force, this force over here, okay? This one is along the radial direction, WR. And this force, this force is projected into this plane and this plane split into two. One is to the front, okay? Okay, one is over here, all right? So this is along the axial direction. So this is the WA. 
All right, and this one is WT. I also show this WT. Okay, let's WT. But these I can show this one immediately by means of this angle. This angle is the normal pressure angle. All right, so this normal force, okay, by sine of this normal pressure angle. So I got this force resolved. And then we define an intermediate force, which is the thing I'm talking about, projection onto this uh, tangential plane. OK, that's called not WT, W prime. OK, let's call this W prime. So W prime equals this force cosine. So normal force cosine normal pressure angle. OK, with that, we can resolve this one immediately. So that is, we use that force. So that is a W cosine phi n. And then what is this angle? This angle is our helical angle. So this is the sine helical angle. OK, and then WT, which is the other, the other one. OK, it is this W, this force, this intermediate force, OK, the intermediate force cosine of that angle. So cosine phi n, and then cosine uh, helical angle. So three forces, OK, all resolved. Now, we know tangential force from torque. We know the tangential force relationship to the uh, normal force. So bring this one into here, we can solve the normal force. Then bring the normal force into here, we can solve WA, and bring normal force to this one, we can solve WR. So all the force components are solved. Thank you. <laughs>